nice one cool dudes i'm in a field in the middle of nowhere well it's sort of near newport sort of carriagebrook way i got dropped off by the bus on the main road and i didn't film straight away because i had to go through one of those weird footpaths through someone's house here but i'm going to undertake the parkhurst forest circular 9.25 miles the weather is mixed and I'm trying out my uh, bum bag and rucksack potential long day trip combo. <laughs> Very interesting. Anyway, enough of the talking. There's a bus in three and a half hours which I probably won't make. And there's another one in four and a half hours. Let's see how we go. Pretty exciting as usual. Let's go. Good luck everyone. Literally seconds after I said that cool dudes, spots of rain and dark clouds have appeared. I'm wearing this, which was my last purchase from uh, Decathlon, which is supposed to be even more waterproof than my last one, but a bit more expensive. Also, for gear lovers, I have on a shirt, which is an early birthday present, so I'm technically sticking to my rule of not buying any more gear this year. A Prag Hopper's Nozzy Life shirt and that means that it stops mosquitoes from getting you normally 65 pounds i got it for half price my nan's given me the money for it for a present so thanks nan uh, excuse me um non hat marrick why does the name parker sound familiar yes a very good question hat marrick it's because parker was the site of the infamous prison which held um, category A criminals like Peter Sutcliffe, Ian Brady and the Cray Twins. But when I was living on the island back in 1995, it was the site of an infamous escape where three prisoners broke out by making a ladder out of goalposts and using a master key they made from memory. The plan was that they were trying to get to Sandown Airport and steer the plane. And one of the prisoners had previously drawn up plans to poison thousands of people by putting, you know, chemicals in the water sources. So, they're pretty bad guys. Jeepers creepers, you're telling me there's some murderers on the loose? Don't worry, Hat Marrick. They were caught. Um, they were hiding in people's sheds and stuff like that. They never managed to get off the island. I forgot to say earlier that this is from my friend Martin Simons, I don't know him, but his book Walk the White. But he starts his walk at the Blacksmiths pub, which I should have done. I got a different number seven bus from Newport and there are basically two routes. So it splits, there's two number seven routes. So I got one further up, but I could have started and finished there. A slight mistake, but never mind. An electric fence blocking the way, luckily, in one of these jobs. You can hear it. Somehow I managed to dodge the dark clouds earlier, but I think the rain is coming. It's one of those things where as soon as I take my jacket off, it will start to rain. I know this full well. I've had this experience many times. Oh, that was a hole. Pretty cute. And alpaca. New housing estates always remind me of the bit at the start of Warship Down when Fiverr warns Hazel something bad's gonna happen in the borough. And that makes me think of my favourite books about journeys. There's a blog on my website, which I do a monthly update. And I think this month is going to be about my favourite books about journeys. Watership Down, Phantom Toll Booth. I have to mention, of course, my brother's wonderful series, Podkin One Ear. I'm a big fan of reading. It's absolutely one of my favourite things. So please could you recommend your favourite books about journeys 
in the comments below. I very much appreciate it. One of my favourite ways of discovering books is to go to my local library, Bembridge Library, and they sell books free for a pound. So I just sort of pick maybe one I've read before that I'd like to give to someone else. And also I'll just take a gamble on some people that I've heard of and not read before. And I've never read a Paul Theroux book, who is Louis Theroux's dad. And I've got one called Riding the Iron Rooster or something. Riding the Iron Rooster? What, is it about some bloke on a massive metal cock? Ah, oh, no hat, Marrick. It's about a train journey in China. I ask you. Just a crackle of thunder in the distance. I'll add it now for effect. Mysterious sculpture in the distance. What could it be? Have a guess, cool dudes. Yes, a red squirrel, cool dudes. The rain is just coming down. Perfect time to get into this squirrel hide. I think the storm has passed. It was hail and all sorts. I was stuck in the squirrel hide with a woman and these barking dogs that kept on coming up to me. And then a couple came in. I couldn't tell whether they were having an affair or not. They were talking about arranging CD collections, which made me think they couldn't possibly be having an affair because you would never talk about arranging your CD collections to impress someone. Um, anyway, I was just stuck there eating my lunch, which was pretty delicious. The sausage sandwich, very good. Married, married. In order to pass, you must pledge your allegiance to me. I will obey thee, Logmaster. I can do. Now get out of my forest. By my calculations, I've got four and a half miles left and an hour and a half till the bus. So as usual, I've got another three miles an hour job. I think it's too wet. The red squirrel's cool, dude. But I'm not that bothered because there's a red squirrel that's been visiting my back garden of all places. Yeah, almost every day. And um, he came right up to the window once. He's a very handsome fellow, don't you think? Pretty cool entrance to the forest, dudes. The bus is every hour, which is why I don't want to miss it. But guess what? Southern Vectis have just created a brand new bus app which lets you live track the buses. So I should be able to see the number seven coming along when I get my phone out later on. A knee cam shot. Why does it always have to be like this way? It's 3.33, the bus is in five minutes. I'm nearly there. Can you see this? This is the bus tracker. They've shut the footpath off. How can they do that? No, this is a disaster over this gate. Yes, it's 3.39. Look how red I am, it's awful. I've made it, the bus is late. I'll give you the details for the walk once I've calmed down maybe, once I've got the bus. It's literally just there. Nice one, cool dudes. I am back in Newport, speaking quite quietly because there's a crowd of drunks nearby. That was 9.8 miles, four hours and 40 minutes. I recommend that walk. Probably do it from the Blackfriars pub place, not where I started. Then you can just sit there and wait for the bus rather than rush if you miss it. That's about it. Prize draw coming up next. Don't forget to join the club on the website or via YouTube. Thank you very much to everyone who has. Also, there's a Cordy's Walking Club on Outdoor Active. That's it. Thanks for watching. Most importantly, stay cool. All right, see you later.
yes, it's competition time called Dewey's, but before that, I just want to let you know that if you want to join Outdoor Active and get a discount, you can use the code dudes 10 f to get money off. And also, they've set up a buddy beacon, which is going to follow me on some walks. And if you go to calldudeswalkingclub.com forward slash blog, I'll put it on there when I'm doing a walk. For example, the Serpent Trail I'm going to be doing this Wednesday. You can follow along. Anyway, time for the competition. You can win this prize. There are currently 549 members from the website and 53 on YouTube. So that's 602. Random number generator. Generate. 167. Well done, cool dude, 167, AKA Tim. I haven't got your address, so I'm gonna message you on the YouTube board. Please get in touch with me. Thanks very much for watching. Remember everyone, stay cool. All right, see you later.